Hello, I'm Mia, and I'm a professional dancer. I dance every day, and I really like it. But lately, a very strange man comes to look at me. Today, I stayed late, and I should go home. Oh no, he's coming towards me. Hello, sweet lady. Would you like to come to my house today? No, I don't even know who you are. My name is Victor, and your name is Mia. I know. Now do you agree to come to my house? Get away from me. I'm not going anywhere with you. Then I'll take you by force. Ah! Help! Help me! What's going on here? Oops. Time to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. You saved me. What is your name? My name is Albert. Let me walk you home to make you safer. Okay, I agree. Thank you. This is my home, for now. You are the most beautiful girl in this world. Your beauty blinds my eyes. Please go on a date with me. Sorry, dude. I need to go to the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch you later. I didn't lie. I really had to go to the toilet. And I didn't have time relationships of boys. But that didn't stop Albert from being overly persistent. Your beauty shines like a sunflower. Please join me for a walk on the beach. Sorry, not today. I have to go to the history room. Mia! I painted the car red as a symbol of my passion for you. Will you accept this gift? Albert, this is very creative, but my horoscope said that today I need to focus on myself. Hello, do you believe in love at first sight? Come on, this is banal even for you, Albert. I'm not Albert, my name is Adam. Wow, who is this handsome guy? He looked like Albert, but he was much cuter than him. I have butterflies in my stomach right now. He's so hot. Hello, my name is Mia. Let's introduce ourselves. Are you an athlete? I like sport. Do you like french fries? I love french fries too. My name is Mia. Have I mentioned this yet? I talk a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> You're a silly girl and I like you. Please join me for lunch today. I will be very pleased. Okay, let's see. It all happened so quickly. Oops, my cheeks are red. Mia! Albert! Why were you talking to my brother? This is your brother? Actually, this explains a lot. I'm going to have lunch with him today. Oh, you broke my heart. Why are you hurting me so much? Relax, Albert. It's just lunch. He is a terrible person! Adam invited me to the fanciest restaurant I've ever seen. Please bring us your best bottle of soda for my lady. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he's so polite. But the only problem is that when I start looking at him, I start making meaningless chatter. This menu looks great. I love the menu. I love the food. I eat food every day. I never skip a meal. I recommend you try lobster and garlic butter. Oh, no, I can't eat this. I'm allergic to seafood. Did I mention that? When I eat seafood, my face looks like a puffer fish. <laughs> you are so funny and hot. Oh, this dinner was so gorgeous. I know, I, I'm very happy. And when the waiter came and brought the bill, Adam gave him a huge tip. He must be very rich. Adam took me home. I can't believe he's so flawless. Thank you so much for the evening, Adam. It was wonderful. Do you know what would make it even more perfect? What? A very small kiss. I was very afraid and worried on him. Oh, I, but how can I refuse him? He leaned down to my lips and touched them gently. And to be honest, his breath smelled like garlic. But I didn't mind. It was the most wonderful end to a day of my life. We talked with Adam all night on the phone. I didn't want to sleep at all. What could ruin everything? Everything was fine until I sent Adam a heart emoji in the morning and didn't receive any response. It's very strange.
<laughs> it's strange. He was not at school all day and he ignored all my messages. Doubly strange. I tried not to let it bother me and started to go home. But suddenly a helicopter began to land from the sky. What's happening? Mia! Albert, what are you doing here? Adam is in grave danger. He's in the hospital right now. You have to help him. Oh my god, no. What hospital is he in? He is in our local hospital. Fly faster. Wow, where are we? This is my parents' ordinary house. Please, come inside and make yourself comfortable. Would you like to try my signature cupcakes? I'd like to see Adam, if we can. Yes, we will go soon, but first we must wait for him to return. An hour has passed. Where is Adam? Yes, it's coming soon. Don't worry. While he's not looking, I'll leave the house and call Adam again. When I called, I heard the phone ringing from inside the house. What? What the hell is going on? We urgently need to go towards the sound. Wait, why do you have Adam's phone number? Wait, I can explain. You are no longer safe. Adam is a crazy guy and he's up to something bad. I knew you wouldn't listen to me, so I had to swallow it to get you to safety. What did you just say? I know. So Adam isn't in the hospital? Dude, this is basically kidnapping. This is wrong. Please trust me. Should I trust you? I practically don't know you. You're just jealous of Adam. Take me back home, now. I can't. It's too dark outside to fly. But I can do it in the morning. I will not stay in this place overnight. Take these keys. Your room is on the second floor. You can lock me up if it makes you feel better and know that I'm sorry. I'm only trying to protect you. I hate him. I'm furious. But at the same time, I'm very scared. I can't sleep. I'm very scared and I constantly hear creepy sounds of the night. Wait, is someone trying to open my door? Who is there? Albert, do not come to me. Mia, it's me, Adam. Oh, Adam, thank you. Quiet, I was so afraid for you. Now you are safe. I came to take you away from my crazy brother. You are the best man in my life. Thank you. He was so crazy that he called you crazy. That's what he likes to say, yeah. Thank you for saving me. I didn't think Albert was that crazy. Yes, I'm glad I made it on time. What kind of place is it? Sorry, I had to bring you here for a while until you were safe. This is my country house. Only I know about it. Even my brother doesn't know about this house. Okay, I trust you, Adam. Wow, this house is so cozy. I like it. If I were as rich as you, I would buy myself a house like this. I'm ready to buy you several of these houses. Really? You're so cute. Yes, how can I resist such a beautiful girl? You are the best man in this world. Come on, I'll show you your room. Wow, I like this house more and more. I like you more and more with every second, too. You smell so nice. Adam, my heart is beating really fast. And I also feel a little dizzy. I feel so good. I really want to kiss you, Mia. So what are you waiting for?
What a beautiful morning, and the night with Adam was just wonderful. But where is Adam himself? He's not here either. Where did he go? Who is it? It's definitely not Adam. He wouldn't ring the doorbell. I'll pretend I'm not here. I need to hide. I'm really scared. Where did Adam go? Did he use me and just leave? It seems like the doorbells have stopped ringing. I hope this strange man is gone. Did you think I was that stupid? What? Don't come near me! Don't kill me! I'm not going to kill you. I came to talk to Adam. Is he home? First, tell me who you are. I'm not going to tell you anything. My name is Alfred, and I'm looking for Adam because he owes me a lot of money. But Adam said that no one knows about this house. Uh, how did you find it? I am a very influential person, girl. Give this envelope to Adam when you meet, okay? See you. Hmm, I don't understand anything at all. I need to wait for Adam and tell him everything. Adam is still not home. I can't stand it anymore. I'll go outside. Maybe I'll see him. It's, it's so, so gloomy outside and I'm all alone here and I don't know what to do. Leave me alone. You acted like a complete asshole. You just used me. Now I'm a single mother because of you. <laughs> oh my God, you are so stupid. Adam, what are you doing here? Mia, why did you leave the house? It's not safe. Darling, go into the house. I'll be there soon. Honey, is this another girl you just want to use like me? What is she talking about? Don't pay attention. She's just a crazy girl. I don't even know who she is. She thinks that I am the father of her child. It's funny to even think about it. Listen, don't trust him. He's just using you. Shut up. Let's get out of here, Mia. This girl told me not to believe you. Don't worry, she's just a sick girl. I would never think of deceiving you. Hmm, okay. And some strange man in a brown suit also came to our house. Stop! Strange man? Who? Why did you let him into the house? I didn't let him in, he came in himself. And anyway, it's your fault that you left me alone for the whole day. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude to you, darling. So what was this man doing in our house? He said that you owe him a huge amount of money. Um, and he also handed over this envelope. He thinks I care about this? <laughs> What's in this envelope? It doesn't matter. I'll throw it away tomorrow. I don't like that you're acting so strange. You disappeared for a whole day. Some girl said you couldn't be trusted, and now you're hiding what's in that envelope. What happened to you? I'm scared. I want to go home. Mia, calm down. You will find out everything very soon. But now we need to go to bed. Let's repeat what happened last night. No, I feel a little sick and have a headache. I'm going to go to bed. A very small kiss will cure all problems. No, I do not want... Okay, why are you so nervous? Are you pregnant or something? You don't joke about such topics. Good night. While Adam is sleeping, I want to see what was in that envelope. Here is this envelope, so let's see what's in it. Oh my god! Why is Albert lying beaten in some forest? Mia, why aren't you sleeping? 
Explain to me what's wrong with Albert in this photo. I knew I should have destroyed that envelope that night. Answer my question. Okay, I'll answer. I owe a huge amount of money to very influential people. They said that if I didn't pay off the entire debt within a certain period of time, they would find ways to make me suffer. I think they took my brother hostage, but they didn't know that I don't give a damn about my brother. But you can't do that. He's your brother. It's not his fault that you're a total asshole. Haven't you forgotten that he kidnapped you a couple of days ago? You even said yourself that he was crazy. I saved you from him. I don't know why he did it, but I think he had his reasons. You have to help him. No, I don't want to. I'm even glad that they took my brother. You are a bad person. I'm leaving you. Where will you go on such a dark night? And why do you think I'll let you go, Mia? No, get away from me! Why are you running away? I just want to talk. I won't hurt you. We, we need, need to, to come up with something urgently. Think, think. Mia, think! Window! Mia, don't worry. I won't hurt you. I love you. You leave me no choice. Where did she go? We need to get away from here immediately. Carol, Carol, are you home? Mia, what are you doing here? Please let me into the house. It's very important. Okay, wait for me. I'll be right down. Tell me what happened. I haven't seen you for several days, and you look very tired. It took me several hours to get to the city. It's a very long story. I'll tell you briefly. I became the girlfriend of a very rich guy, his name is Adam, but he turned out to be a real idiot. Adam owes a huge amount of money to some mafia, and they took his brother hostage. His name is Albert. I miraculously managed to escape from Adam's house and came here. Oh my god, this all sounds so creepy. But why did you come to me? I can't stay at my house, it's not safe. You're the only one I trust. Please, can I stay at your house for a while? Of course I do not mind. I don't feel well. I feel sick all the time. It might be due to stress. Mia, are you okay? I am fine. I need to think of something urgently. Albert is in danger. Calm down. Let's contact the police first. They should help. I think you're right. Let's go. Hello. I would like to report my friend missing. Okay. How long has he been missing? He disappeared a few days ago. I think he was kidnapped by some mafia. Where do you get this information from? It doesn't matter. It's... it's my intuition. Hmm. Okay. Describe his appearance. His name is Albert. He has purple eyes, an athletic build, dark hair, and he comes from a wealthy family. And he also has a red helicopter. We will do everything in our power. Thank you, officer. We've done everything we could. All that's left to do is wait. Yes, you are right. Mia, is everything okay? Yeah, but I started feeling sick again. Listen, there's a hospital nearby. We need to go there. Okay, let's go, but let's hurry up. We need a doctor. My friend is feeling sick. She's nauseous. What's happened? I don't know. 
She constantly feels like throwing up. I'll take her to the ward. In the meantime, sit down. Okay, thank you. We found out the reason why you constantly feel sick. Tell me. Congratulations, you are pregnant. <sighs> what? This can't be a mistake, can it? No, there can be no mistake. You really are pregnant. I feel unwell again. Where am I? Is this a dream? Did you wake up? Carol, I dreamed that the doctor told me that I was pregnant. Mia, it wasn't a dream. You're really pregnant. Oh my god, what should I do now? The father of my future child is Adam. I do not know what to do. <laughs> Mia, everything will be fine. But first, Adam needs to know about it. I hate Adam. But yeah, you're right. He's the father of my child and he should know no matter what kind of asshole Adam is. Perhaps, having learned about the future child, he will agree to help Albert. I'll take us to him. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what I would do without you. Do not worry, everything will be alright. I'll be there. If anything happens, start screaming and I'll call the police right away. Thanks a lot. Mia, what are you doing here? Adam, I'm pregnant. Adam, we need to have a serious talk about this. What? He just silently closed the door and that's it. Adam, open the door. I need you. Get out of here and never come back. You told me you loved me. You... you... bastard. Did you hear me badly? Get out. I hate you. How did it go? He drove me away. Why did I have to go through all this? What should I do with my pregnancy? I can't raise a child alone. Don't worry, Mia. I'll help you. You don't have to do this. I don't want to leave you in trouble. If we stick together, everything will be much easier and more fun. Thank you very much. I don't even know how to thank you. Everything will be fine. I'm so glad we started spending so much time together. I think we'll be fine, and we don't need any Adam. I'm just really worried about Albert. He's still missing. But at first I didn't believe him about Adam. Maybe he really wanted to help me. If I had known how it would turn out, I could have helped him. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. I'll try not to think about it for now, but I'll really hope that the police can find Albert. I think it's time for us to sleep. Today was a hard day. What kind of idiot would ring the doorbell this late at night? We need to go down and check. Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Who are you? Mia, open up. It's me, Adam. What do you want? You wanted to never meet me again. Please forgive me. I realized everything. I love you more than anything in the world. After you told me you were pregnant, I got scared. I'm a coward. But I love you, and I want you to forgive me. I want to be the father of our child. I don't even know what to say. I'm so scared. Please, give me another chance. I promise I won't let you down. Okay, but this is your last chance. You won't get any more chances. I hope I didn't make a fatal mistake. Thank you. I will be the best man in your life. Do you agree to go for a walk on a beautiful night? But Carol is sleeping. I need to warn her. Carol? Who's Carol? Well, never mind. Don't wake her. I won't keep you long, honey. Fine.
It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, I like it. I'm so glad we're back together, Adam. Do you really promise that you will never leave me again? I promise. It was really hard for me without you. Listen, are you still such a great kisser? I've missed your lips so much. Just go ahead and kiss me and check. Sorry, Mia. What did you say? What are you talking about? Goodbye. Where, where am I? Why am I on some yacht? So here we meet again, Mia. Meet my loyal friends. I don't think I need to introduce their names. And also, Adam, you already know him. What do you want? Get me out of here. I want to go home. <laughs> Sorry, but no. You are now completely our property. It just so happened that Adam owed us a huge amount of money, but he could not pay it back. We already wanted to kill him and leave him in some forest, but he offered us a very profitable deal. Here comes your end. We are already tired of tolerating your delays in payments. Kill him. Wait, I'll fix everything. I have a great offer for you. My ex-girlfriend recently got pregnant by me. I can sell you Mia. She doesn't have any close people around her now. She's completely alone and won't even go to school because she's pregnant. I will help kidnap her. You will get a young girl and a future child and I will pay my debt and remove Mia from my life. Hmm. Interesting proposal. You bastard. I hate you. Calm down, Mia. I don't recommend angering these very rich men. I don't care who they are. I hate you all. Let me go home. And you are a bold and brave girl. People like you need to be punished. I suggest we lock her in the room for now, and then come to her at night and punish her. Take her to her room. No, don't touch me. The police will find you and save me. Just shut up and go quietly. Oh, no. You will all pay for what you have done. I will destroy you all. Mia, what are you doing here? What? Who said that? Albert, is this you? Hi, Mia. I'm surprised to meet you here. What did they do to you here? Did they beat you? Did they abuse you badly? I was very worried about you. Forgive me for not believing you at first. You were right about Adam. Don't blame yourself. The main thing is that we are both alive now and can still do something. Adam didn't hurt you? It's a long story. When I saw your photo in Adam's house, where you were lying beaten and tied up, I immediately ran away from his house. <sighs> but I had to return to his house because of one event. I got pregnant from Adam. What? Yes. And then Adam deceived me again, and in the end, I was kidnapped by these crazy millionaires. Look, we gotta get out of here. For you and your baby. Yes, but how do we do that? I have a plan. I studied all the security routes and realized that every two hours, there is only one security guard at the yacht control point. Our task is to knock him out and take the keys to the control room from him. After all this, call a rescue boat in case of emergency and sail away from here. Good plan, I agree. Try to distract the guard. Fine. Help! Ah! What's going on here? Shut up! You are such a muscular man. I think you have very strong and powerful arms. Come to me and you can touch me with them. Really? Okay, just don't tell anyone about it. Yeah, come closer. Hello. <laughs> Done. We have the keys. Follow me. It's ready. We need to hurry. What was that sound? Go check what this noise is. Albert, they're coming here. Mia, jump. What are you standing there for? Go after them. <laughs> we did it. Yes, we are great, especially you. All that's left is to swim to the city. Stop, they're chasing us. Why are you so slow? Go ahead. I'm trying. This is the maximum speed. If we let them go, you won't get out of here alive. It looks like we're breaking away from them. What was that sound? Our engine stalled. Damn. 
They're catching up with us. We're finished. Damn boat. It needed to stall at this exact moment. Albert, even if we don't survive, I want to tell you. I... I... I love... Jump in the helicopter. Now! Carol? This is our last chance. Get in! Carol, how did you find us? You saved us. My name is Albert. Let's get acquainted. The night you were kidnapped, I saw you and Adam going somewhere. I thought it was weird and decided to follow you. After I saw you chop up a masked man and take you away in a car, I followed you all the way without you noticing. After you were taken away on that yacht, I immediately started looking for a way to help you. I had to rent a helicopter. Now you owe me $1,000 for renting the helicopter. Ha 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 ha. I'll pay for everything, don't worry. Thank you for saving me again. I will be in your debt for the rest of my life. The main thing is that now everything is okay, and you are alive. Let's fly home quickly. Please spare me, I will repay my debt to you. Adam, we're tired of giving you chances. You keep screwing up. It's time to start the punishment, Adam. Kill him! No, please, no, I'll make it up to you. No, 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 oh! Exactly two years have passed. My life has finally improved and now everything is just wonderful. I married Albert. I realized that he is the man I want to spend my whole life with. I also had twins, a boy and a girl. We named them Charlie and Tracy. Honey, dinner is ready. My sweeties, come eat. Daddy and I will be there soon. I am still amazed at how beautiful our children are. Even though I am not their real father, I love them as if I were. I love you, Albert. I love you too, Mia.